and running out of the new locker room and digs the University of Utah out of the Ken Garf red zone on the south end which is added to the capacity this place is rocking everybody's ready to go and the youths love their new 80 million dollar facility they have at the south end of Rice Eccles Stadium. Well, you said it perfectly, Roxy. I mean, it's a beautiful setting. We've got the backdrop of the mountain. The FCS level and the kickoff and Pac-12 football is back on Pac-12 Network as Shahid has it go off his hands into the back of the end zone and through. It'll come out to the 25 and a touchback and Weber State will go on offense with their own 25. Utah brings five. Barron steps up. Escapes, then gets tripped up trying to run for a first down. Van Fillinger coming off the edge, the freshman from Draper with the tackle and a three and out for Charlie Brewer throwing on first down, deep down the left side and under throws Brand Keithy, penalty marker. And that's definitely going to be pass interference. Brewer underneath. Bernard out of the backfield, has a first down, inside the 35. Weaver State called on a blitz. Third and six for Utah at the 29. Brewer outside, and it's Bernard, his second catch. And he has a first down, just shy of the 20-yard line, pushed out. And Huntley wasn't a great slider when he had to get down. We'll see how Brewer it plays out for him, but that was a physical hit. He's throwing on second down after the play action. And inside the 10, it'll be first and goal as the catch made for Utah by Thomas Yasp. Keithy in motion. First and goal from the eight. And the fly is sweet. Getting to the edge. Nice job by Weber State to read it. Jalen Dixon with the board. Maybe on Thomas, the running back. And the handoff to Thomas tries to cut it back, and George Tarlis. Another nice play by Tarlis, a two-time all available tonight for Kyle Whittingham in Utah. Third and goal for Charlie Brewer from the pocket. Throws, and it's dropped. T.J. Pledger out of the backfield had a touchdown and did not hang on, and it's fourth down. 18 for 21 on his field goal tries. Sophomore first team all Pac-12 last year. And the short field goal is good, and Utah's on the board. 8.39 to go in the first. The Utes sky tonight on Pac-12 Network. Kickoff, and Noyes sends it to the goal line, and Rashid Shahid on the return. Shahid, who is dangerous, has a hole. Shahid, who has five career returns for scores, trying to make it six, and he does. Touchdown, Weaver State. Just like that, you see the team go crazy on the sideline. Jay Hill and the Weber State Wildcats. Oh, it's a beautiful thing when you can come into opponent's career return for a touchdown by Rashid Shahid for Weber State. Well, they did a great job. The Wildcats did it, collapsing everything to Shahid's right, and he cut makes a simple cut, and then the rest scores. is all speed. It, it, it is all speed when you get out in the open. So the native of San Diego. Thompson's extra point, and it's 7-3, Weber State. Running back. On first down, Brewer throws to the outside, wide open. And a first down again, Bernard, the receiver. Third catch for Makai. From the 42, Charlie Brewer again looking to throw on first down. The blitz picked up by Bernard. Brewer on the move to the outside. And into Weber State territory, Brant Keithy lowering his shoulder. First down, Utah. Under center is Brewer. Bernard, the running back, in the play action. Looking for a deep shot. And downfield, Solomon Enos the catch. Another Utah first down. And the players, we got to hear about that for certainly 80 minutes. Is it over yet? On second down, Brewer throwing for the corner. to wait for the hands to go up. Dalton Kincaid, the transfer from the University of San Diego. Well, what a beautiful route. What a beautiful pass. Back of the end zone. Brewer puts it right where only Kincaid can catch it. Turns around, shows off that strength as well as that. Look at him stretch. Watch. Oh, that's a beautiful play. He was able to get. Uh, reclaims the lead. And the extra point. And Jaden Redding remains. 
perfect for his Utah career. He looks like they're looking what I like to play in coverage. Bronson Barrett incomplete. Tried to get that one to Justin Malone. Another miscommunication that time. And over end Covey from inside Utah territory. Trying to get to the outside. Turns it upfield. Reverses field. There goes Britton Covey. Covey inside the 30. And he's wrapped up shy of the 15. Okay. What a return by Covey. 34 on the return from Covey. And he went sideline to sideline. Can you say fresh legs? <laughs> I can't say this young man. He's a wily old veteran when he comes to college football. But what a great return. What a way to put, get the crowd back into it. And he's side goes in motion. Solomon Enos out to the left. Charlie Brewer. Pressure coming. Lops it for the end zone. Through the hands incomplete. Should have been called. Cole Fotheringham had to go through. Trying to go two for two tonight. And Redding. Plenty of leg behind that one. And it's 13 7 Utah. So Jaden Redding two for two. And executive Big Sky Conference title. On second down, Barron throws to the outside, and Ty McPherson the catch, and he's run out and has a first toe. From the pocket, Barron steps up on the move, looking downfield, throws to the sideline, too hot. Tried to get it to Randall Grimes. He's hurt. And then Barron. Man, had a promising future. A terrible tragedy. On third down as we start the second, on the move, launching it downfield as Brewer over the head, intended for Theo Howard as the pocket collapsing. Awadi Pututau will also win on the stop for Utah. Ty McPherson, the motion man for Weber State. Four receivers for Barrett. Pressure again, flushed out by Tafua. Toward the sideline, throws it back, and it's juggled and tipped and intercepted. Off the hands of Randall Grimes and Utah comes. Got to bring that in. Grimes has got to pull that ball in. Looking so, around. So Grimes. Brewer. And they try the reverse with Britton Covey. Covey. First down. Cuts it back. Penalty marker is down as Covey is brought down inside the 15. But looks like an illegal block. Two tight ends for Charlie Brewer under center. And the handoff goes to Tavion Thomas. And Thomas to the outside. Pushed out inside the 15. First down, Utah. Well, we were, the state's got to do it. But this year might be a challenge to do so because there's so much depth at running back. And you wonder if somebody will get enough carries to try to eclipse 1,000. Thomas again inside the 10. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Utah. And that right there is easy. That right there is easy. So you said him, you know, with the number of running backs they have and also the number of tight ends that we've seen featured and focus here tonight, there's probably going to be a lot of toss in the ball. But one thing that works for offense is when you want to do play action, establish the run. And right there, that's just a great attitude run. How about that block by Nick Ford? Making up for that holding. Call. Absolutely. Up against. Sweet. Good point. Coach is always trying to get the attention. Certainly. Redding from five yards deeper hits the upright. And it cost Utah the point. And Jaden Redding his first career miss on a pull. Up. Looks like they will. Trevor Salagi replaced him at right guard. Empty backfield for Barron. Throws to the outside first down. Ty McPherson out near the 40 for Weaver State. Bronson Barron will run. Lunges forward. Stood up right near the marker. It'll be close. Talk about a defensive stop. Looked like when Brunson went and left his feet. This is the design run. Looks like a power lead. Great hit. Look at the red shirts rally. Devin Lloyd like with Devin, that shoulder yeah. contact. Absolutely. And it is enough. First four. Oh, they're going to call a timeout and talk about it. And I was I was looking at the matchup between two four. First charge timeout. Time for Weaver State under pressure. Barron throws Rashid Shahid the catch. Penalty markers are down in the Utah secondary as Barron right near the 25 to Shahid. And we will check the flag, and it's right near the mark for a Weaver State first down. On the 26, Bronson Barron escapes the pressure. On the move, Barron throws downfield, coming back. Justin Malone the catch. And that's a first down for Weaver State. They're in the red zone for Shahid in motion. And a handoff straight ahead 
Down to the one. Josh Davis first and goal inside the one for Weber State. Watson Barron keeps hit behind the line. And he lost a yard. Nephi Sewell crashing through with Carlton. Carlton is change at quarterback. Creighton Cooper. The freshman is in a quarterback. And Cooper lost another yard. Davis, the running back behind Bronson Barron. Clay Moss motions into the backfield, the fullback. Play action. Moss slips out and dropped it. It was behind him in defense of Clay Moss. They try to get the ball to Shahid on the perimeter. I'll take that back. He's not up there. Creighton Cooper takes the snap, tries to run it to the outside, and he doesn't get there. He was down. Didn't matter. He fumbled it, but they said he was down. Brandon McKinney and the edge held by Utah and a turnover on downs at the one. Yeah, they tried to go with a little bit of a quarterback. From their own one, play action Brewer from his own end zone, throws to the outside, and that's a catch. And Dalton Kincaid has a first down. It's a football. Out to the 13. Makai Bernard in at running back. Solomon Enos in motion. And that is straight ahead and a hole. Makai Bernard out near the 30, driving forward. Mark Collins finally with a stop for Weber State. Oh, well, that right there is just too easy for him. You give up two back to back big plays, and now you're out close to midfield pretty soon. Play action for Charlie Brewer. Fires over the middle. Theo Howard. First down at midfield for Utah. Now, now that's even more deflated because now they're taking with four receivers lined up. Second and nine from the midfield line. Charlie Brewer fires a miscommunication. There is a flag as Brent Keithy looking around thinking he was interfered with. Eddie Hecker there defensively for Weaver. Led the big sky in tackles for loss last year. That was for a minus 10. Third and 17 for the Utes. Empty backfield. Brewer all day to throw. And the crossing route underneath for a short gain to Covey who is immediately brought down by Preston Smith and it's fourth down we'll see how the teams play this here in the two on two three Weber State players lined up on the goal line Brewer launching for the end zone and it's intercepted back the other way for Weber State Jacoby Harris and he makes it out across the 35 as he was brought down by Braden Daniels the offensive lineman and we've reached halftime in Salt Lake City State will kick off and Britton Covey back to return for Utah and the kick from Kyle Thompson and Covey lets it sail through the back of the end zone out to the 25 for Utah Charlie Brewer in the first half 11 of now Brewer did have an interception on that Hail Mary on the final play of the first half is the carry straight ahead losing the football it's Tavion Thomas it looks like Utah got it back. You can't be loose with the ball when you're running between the tackles. Not sure what happened that time, but Tavian did not finish with the ball. It looks like we've got a down player because Weber State's calling to the sideline. Oh, they got the football. That's what they're calling. Jared Sheets says, I have it. And he does. And a turnover and a Weber State ball. Two miscues back to back. Game we were talking about it. Please restore the game watch clock the, to 14 watch, and 15. Going through the hole. Oh, nice hit. Weaver State defender. I couldn't see what number we got the initial hit in on. But I tell you what, this is a this can be a momentum changer. Again, you see the replay, the ball's popped up in the air. You got to secure the ball when you're running between attacks. To the left for Barron. Throws on the move, and it's caught inside the 15. First down. Weaver State at the Utah 12. Randall Grimes, the only receiver out to the right. Barron throws to Grimes, makes the catch, shy of the first down with Clark Phillips closing in. You know, Grimes has to remember that when you're running that route, you have to get enough for the first down. He comes up four yards short. Just a field goals and along of 51. And this one is good. 19-10, Utah with the lead. So the turnover gets three for Weaver State. 1,000. This place is, I think, the best venue in, in college sports. On the move, Charlie Brewer, right near the marker, but a little bit short on that pass, going to Solomon. Midway through quarter number three. 
Faking the inside give, and Barron slings it out and upended as the ball juggled by Dante McMillan. And big physical play straight on. Last year, per long of 51 for Kyle Thompson. Let's see if this win plays a, plays a part. Plenty of leg, and Kyle Thompson missed it. He pushed it to the left. Not sure if the win played a part there, but we'll see. See if the defense is Devils would miss the extra points. So right now it's 6-0 ASU. A reminder, you can watch that game on Pac-12 Arizona or your Pac-12 Now app. We'll take you to the end of it after this. You right. Even though he is disqualified yes. from competing for the rest of the ball game. But with also the targeting call against Anderson as nice hole opened up. Makai Bernard out to midfield for Utah. But Anderson now will have to sit out the first half of their home game next Shotgun for Charlie Brewer. Throws down the left sideline and leading perfectly. Dalton Kincaid. He says, I got a first down. Oh, that's Go Tigers. <laughs> Coach O. Empty backfield for Brewer. Hangs in there. On the move for the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. Solomon Enos. Well, what a time to catch and what a pass by Brewer that time. Look at the confidence this young man has, and that shows us some veteran leadership right there. I know he did a lot of this in Baylor, using his legs, extending the plays. Watch him square up his shoulders. Throws a strike on the move. That's a good arm strength right there. Nice catch by Enos as well in the end zone. Five plays, 66 yards. Brewer ready. Nails this one. 26 to 10 years from the 23. Hadley goes in motion. That's too far. Pressure off the edge. Mika Tafua. Barron gets away. Throws to the sideline. Ty McPherson first down out across the 40. And nearly wrapped up in the backfield. At least one pick six for the Utah defense. A streak that goes back to 2004. And Phillips, who initially was going to go to Ohio State. That flipped and committed and enrolled at Utah. Barrett goes down to the backfield. Yeah, what's Devin Lloyd and company got to him. Some guys have names on the back of their uniforms and some don't. It's preseason for everybody. <laughs> Long time oh. to throw for Charlie Brewer. Now he'll run. Brewer. Wrapped up. Twisted around as he got to the 40 and down to the Weaver State. In fact, his high school teammate, close friend, and he came to Utah with Aaron Lowe, the defensive back, who changed his number to 22 to honor. There you go. From the 17, Brewer the high snap. And the slant, it's caught down to the five. First down, Brant Keithy the catch for Utah. Class of that. Great tribute to Ty Jordan. Two tight ends in the game. And they'll run it. And tripped up in the backfield, Mackay Bernard. For a little Britton Covey, the motion man. Play action. Underneath, it's Covey. Wrapped up and thrown out of bounds by Eddie Heckard, who was all over that play. Oh, so. Sophomore from Las Vegas. Might be their best cover corner. There's the down the line screen to Covey. Straight ahead inside the one, just shy of the goal line. This is another pre-snap read. The goal inside the one. Curry, the running back. Straight ahead. Curry hit and brought down behind the line. And that play had no chance right there. No chance. A third and nine from the two. Bring us some pressure. Here they come. Here it comes off the edge from Sewell. And the tight end, Justin Malone, chopped down shy of the first down. Barron had to get rid of it quickly. He sent sixth career return for a score for Shaheed. And a hundred yarder is straight ahead and a hole for Tavion Thomas. Thomas breaking tackles. Fights his way near the 20. Hard nose running by Tavion Thomas. Second and two after an eight-yard pickup. Another carry for Tavion Thomas inside the 10. Tripped up, keeps going. Second score for Thomas, a 14-yarder. Late penalty flag comes in. 
five or fewer plays. Yeah. And they had the multiple play, the 10 yard drive. They run up in the interior. It looks like a pull, double pull power. Tavion Thomas does the rest, uses those big strong legs, gets across the end zone. Touches the ball. That something great could happen. Screen to Josh Davis, turns it upfield. And Davis lost the football. Who's got it? Utah says we do, and they do, say the officiating crew. Mika Tafua comes up with a loose football, and Weaver State a turnover, setting up Utah in a great spot. Talk about having an impact. Mika Tafua is the defensive end that make, comes back and finds his way back to the ball. You see that. Against USC when he injured the shoulder. Tavion Thomas, the running back. Rising will throw, and the slant complete. Grant keep the inside the 10 first and goal not the starting quarterback it goes to show you how well thought of he is by his teammates and the staff here at Utah rising in the flat Dalton Kincaid touchdown that'll get you pumped up Cam rises for one of the first ones over there to celebrate with his tight end it's a little bit of a rollout sees Kincaid right away Kincaid gets the ball makes a few Wildcats miss Puts the ball across the breaks of playing the end. Uh, he said that he, he likes the administration. He likes what he has there. And they built a good program around him. Dante McMillan, the ball carrier, tripped up, drives forward, has a first down. But the, the funny story about him taking the job deep and effective defensive line. They're coming to pressure again. Barron, the screen. Justin Malone. Hurdles. And Malone rocked out of bounds right near the marker. An athletic play from the Weaver State tight end Malone. Malone's well, probably can watch it on the Pac-12 now at low snap. Barron the handoff. Dante McMillan first down and more. McMillan fighting through tackles and gets inside the Utah 35. It's Utah trying to win their season opener. And win their home opener for the 14th time in 15 years. And complete and turning up field. Nice from the Wildcats. Play action. Barron to the outside, turning it around, coming back. And inside the five. First and goal. Barron keeps, and he's brought down behind the line. Weaver State. And a punch one in. Play action. Wide open touchdown. Bid on the play action and wide open in the end zone was Hayden Meacham, the tight end. Uh, there's a mess up somewhere on the Utes defense because they thought that they were falling for the play that they ran earlier in the game when they were trying to throw at the flat fullback. This time Meacham looks like he's blocking. And there, there, there you go. There's a young man's mistake. Play 75 yards into the end zone as Kyle Thompson nails the extra point. For and for what it's worth, the offense looks to be extremely promising with all the tight ends and the way they were able to move the ball behind Brewer. Some more hard nose running from Tavian. This is, this is a big game for the Utes as well. Huge rivalry game next week. These schools are separated by about 30 to 35 miles as blasting through as Tavion Thomas has gone over 100 yards rushing now to start the season. San Jose State who plays USC in a big showdown at the Coliseum on Saturday as Cam Rising will take a knee. That will be the final play of the ball game. And the Utes got some things to clean up, but Kyle Whittingham certainly will take the result and a win in their season opener, making it 14 of the last 15 openers at home that Utah has won. Still not going to get a smile out of them. I thought we were going to get a smile out of Coach, but, you know, well, well fought by both teams. I think the, the teams going forward are going to be in good hands. They, this, is a, this is much due respect right there, midfield, between these two coaches.